Hey YouTube, Tom here from Beyond Examination with uh, something that I've never tried to do before on the channel and that is a firearms review. Um, not really a review like you would see most times. I'm not taking the uh, camera equipment to the range, although I have taken the firearm to the range. It's just that uh, my range is a little rough and tumble and I just got this brand new camera. So this is the first time I'm actually using my Panasonic S5 to record the video here. So, uh... Yeah, it's a bunch of new things for me in this video, so bear with me as we have these little bit of growing pains. So what are we going to be looking at today? Well, here it is. The Taurus 605 with the Alamante grips. Um, I got this because I've, I'm new to firearms semi. I've been into them for about a year, and I always wanted a 357. But due to the pandemic, a lot of different types of guns are very hard to come by. And this one was hot off of uh, the new uh, SHOT Show this year. And nobody had any real videos up on it, but it popped up on online. And I loved the way it looked. I mean, it, it, it's a beautiful gun with a beautiful Cerakote finish. We will get in that top head, uh, overhead view of this gun in 4K in just a second here. But, um, so I think a big thing about revolvers is it's people are told to get revolvers because they're easier to handle and there's less moving parts so it's kind of like what you would refer a novice to but uh, not always the case there's a plenty of semi-autos you get gives most people a Glock and I think they'd be fine even if it's their first gun but there's the perceived notion that revolvers are a little easier to maintain and, and the, the good thing about a 357 is you can also uh, load 38 special into them so you can you have a cheaper alternative for going to the range or if someone isn't strong enough to uh, fire a 357 round, you can have them load this up with 38 Special as well. Um, one thing you might say is a, a short barrel like that. Is this concealed carry? Um, you could conceal carry this. This is a very tight form factor. But uh, I don't know. There is probably better concealed carry options as this isn't even a six shot. This is a five shot. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the top down view so we can look at this a little bit closer and I'll give you some of my opinions on this firearm. All right, guys, here we are at the table and we're going to take a look at the Taurus 605 a little closer here. Um, first thing you'll notice right off the bat is these awesome Alamante grips. And uh, they're as, as comfortable as they look. Um, there's enough uh, texture here to uh, grip onto. This just molds to my hand perfectly. And one of the things I worried about getting a 357 this size is the kick, the recoil. And luckily, um, this handles it well. Um, I mean, you're not going to do very many follow-up shots that are accurate if you're really trying to go quick. But for the, the force, you'll feel it right here, of course. But, I mean, it, I, even my friends have said... This handles very well for a gun this size and that caliber, and I've only shot it in 357. I I've haven't gotten any 38 Special yet, but this grip just conforms to the hand. You can get all the fingers on just barely. I have about average to large size hands, and it's just a really, uh, really fair. Moving on from the grip, you have the uh, Cerakoted finish. I believe it's referred to as tungsten, and it's beautiful. Um, it's probably my favorite finish on any of my guns so far, um, and it's held up. It's only been to the range once or twice, I think, now, but it is holding up beautifully. Um, the whole look of this gun, uh, i got to say I'm kind of a snob. I, I like to go by looks when I'm buying guns a lot of the time, um, and this looks great. Um, it, in person, it even looks better, and it is just a magnificent-looking revolver, and it has... That nice front sight there. Now that really stands out on the range. But to be on target, you actually have to put that nice fiber optic below the back notch. It has this notch in the back here. So you're really, you may use it to help get on target quickly, but then you have to drop it to such a point that you barely, if you see it at all, um, I've actually been pretty accurate with this gun, even though I think it has a 4-inch barrel? It's 4 or 3, I forget. But I've been fairly accurate with it, um, especially with the kick. 
I, I had to laugh at one point. We were at the range, and I said, because we were running out of ammo, and I said, well, let, watch me get a bullseye this time. And on the next shot, I actually got a bullseye. Um, this was from about, I want to say, 20 feet, maybe a little bit more. But uh, it was cool to call that out and have that happen. But it's been a fairly accurate gun for the size. And, I mean, we expect the kick to be a little too much. Um, you could, I mean, this is light enough, and it feels so, so great in the hand. That you could, I guess, use it as a carry gun. I mean, it is relatively small, and it's uh, not very wide. But the problem I've found and this is why this is going to be just mainly a range toy for me, is the loading. Now, you can see that we are completely empty here, of course, safety first. Um, it's only a five-round revolver, which, no big deal if you're making concessions to have a small-as-possible carry revolver. Um, and 357, if you're on target, you're not going to need much more than five rounds to stop what's coming at you. But the thing I... I got to knock it for is see how close this is to the frame of the gun. Um, now, of course, you can rotate, but um, getting in a round at just the right spot here, it gets jammed up. Um, it's not horrible. Like I said, you can always spin the chamber so you're always loading from the outside. But if you have a speed loader like I picked up, now these do fit this type of gun. This is a uh, forget HKS 36, but it's uh, your standard speed loader for this uh, type of revolver. Um, usually I wouldn't load live rounds, but just to show you exactly what I'm talking about is normally you would just seat this right in there and go. But because it's so tight, it doesn't seat all the way down there. Now this isn't a horrible problem because you once you get it kind of in, you can release the speed loader, take it off, and they all drop in. But see if I can show you on here what I'm talking about. Yeah, right about there. If you're lined up with the handle, you're it's one spot right about there. It's kind of hard to duplicate. But I've had it happen to me multiple times at the range. But yeah, that's one problem with it. But honestly, uh, when I first started getting into guns, my first gun was a Taurus G3. It was a suggestion from a friend saying that they'd really turned their game around. And the guns are very inexpensive. And it was true. And I love that gun to this day. It's a very uh, reliable, well-made gun. And I think it's true that Taurus is really changing up the game and coming back and... I mean, this seems like it should be way more expensive than it is. Um, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember what I paid for this, but by getting it from uh, Kai Gun Co., it's an online website, even before it was released or right at release date, it was $100 off of what the street price is. And I remember that just because I went, wow, no one even has a video of this out yet, so it's brand new and it's actually on a very good sale. I mean... You can't get better gun for the money, in my opinion. Um, like I say, shoots great. Uh, single action is horrible. I mean, always. Uh, I mean, double action is horrible on uh, on revolvers almost all the time. But uh, single action is great. Um, yeah, it just fits really great in the hand. It's just a very a beautiful gun. I mean, sometimes I buy with my eyes, like I said. But I'm glad that this time it worked out that it's also a, a good shooter as well. But yeah, great gun. I, I can't say enough about it. Um, if you like this video, guys, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It all helps out the channel as I'm trying to retool the channel. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, all of them at EdgeLimited13. Again, thanks for watching.